Hello YouTube, I'm Gradimo, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. Now I really hope you enjoy this video, as this is my intro, as I didn't record a proper intro like I normally do. So uh, please enjoy this video, and if you do enjoy this video, please leave a like, and uh, leave me a comment in the comment section below. Junkyard? Is this a race? Keep up. How many times are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also super-sized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. I bet she has a tumor. David might power. be a douche, but you did steal his gun. Is everybody armed in Arcadia Bay now? Only the ones who shouldn't be, like Step Dildo. Until now. I'm not in the revolution yet, Che. You mm. are the revolution, Max. So we should figure out how to best use and abuse your power with a test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Uh, okay. Beer and guns? <sighs> nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. Okay, just because you're putting sugar on top. What's that? Is that a bottle? Oh, it's a can. You know, cans would do nicely too. I don't want to go that way. Okay. Oh, oh there's one bottle. Ah. Stupid bottle. Oh, rewind time. Okay. Let's look, look at it. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. Let's move this. Alright. And now, let's get the bottle. That was nice and easy. Okay. Hello, bottle number one. Oh. Well, so sad to look at a grounded boat. I wonder who owned that and where they are now. Looking for another bottle. Mm, Every car. car has its own tale and history. Every car does have its own tale and history. A shirt, a random shirt. This is the scariest thing here. Kinda is. I wonder how many generations of fashion went through that washing machine. <laughs> okay. Coming this fall, Max Caulfield, Bottle, bottle Hunter. Hunter. Yeah. Boom. Only three bottles left. Okay. Wow, sir. That looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. Whoa. Okay. Hell yeah. We will in your new ride. We have to get supplies for the drive-in. Maybe we can have dinner first. Or whatever. Anyway, go ape. Too late. Smiley face. Okay. That dough is the perfect photo op. Photo. Won't be able to see it in the camera. And it runs away. Stump! Let's just sit at a It's so spot. quiet and primordial out here. I always feel like the forest is whispering to me. Okay. Remember, it's like the weird janitor said. That dough is your spirit animal. I wonder if Chloe thinks about her father when she looks at all these smashed up cars. Oh. Yeah, so got it. Chloe's dad died in a car accident. 
I don't want to go that way. Okay, fine. Then don't go that way. Jeez, Louise. Eat shit and live. Thanks for the tip. That doesn't sound like living if you're eating shit. In fact, really, if you're eating shit, that sounds like the exact opposite of living. Hey, it's a bottle! That's three bottles! Three down, two more to go. Talk about... I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Oh, fuck. Da 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 Nice. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. It really does. I bet that kind of hurts. Oh. Uh, well, you kind of laughed and never called. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. But you left. Take bottle. One more bottle to I'll go. I'll land that way. Uh, I want to die. <sighs> Jeez. Who wrote this? Leaflet. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Okay. Chloe was here. Rachel. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. You know, that doesn't. I, I, I don't know that. That doesn't seem right to me, so I am fixing that. Yes. Better. You know, that, that looks more like jealousy than anything. In my opinion. Personal opinion. Nope, I don't want to go there. Okay, then. You're square. You don't want to go anywhere. She probably eats at a restaurant called Oh, I Don't Care. Hmm. Huh. I could use this board as a bridge. Doesn't look too heavy. A bridge to what? All this rusted metal makes me feel serene. Am I morbid or just goth? Or neither. Gun shells. Those shells look fresh. Hmm. How fresh? Let's talk to Chloe for a minute. Speak. I have to find dirty ass bottles while you chill? Not fair. I have to prep the range, crybaby? And I've been tripping hard about where you got this rewind power. From God? Or the gods? So, bow. We can make the world bow. Are you ready for that? No way. No way. I still don't even know how my power works. Or for how long. Dude, you fuck shit up, you rewind, you fix it. Drop the mic. Boom. Spin, yeah. rinse, and repeat. I'm just altering time and space. Oh yeah, and history. <laughs> no biggie. You already altered history by saving my life, smartass. Let's see what else you can do. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate. Which means booze bottles. Okay. Plank. Move. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Well, yeah, when you're gonna move it like that. Thank you! Voila! Now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Okay, now we gotta bring this on over here. Bottles! Get your bottles! Max. Premium dirty bottles! Oh! 
Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Okay. Right. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Up. Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Mm. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Shoot Let's take rim. out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Oh! Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tex. Now that's what I'm talking about. Mm. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never? So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I need um, a target before I shoot. Shoot the windshield. I want to see that windshield go down. Watch out for flying glass! You guys better run for cover! Yet the bottle remains. Oh, I see. I gotta tell her where to shoot so she can trick shot it. So shoot the bumper. Put a real dent in that front bumper. Goodbye, cruel bumper. <laughs> Jesus, I sh shot myself! Ugh, I shot myself! Back up! Back Stupid up! Gun. I'm trying. Hold on, Chloe. Oh fuck! Okay. Okay. Don't shoot the bumper. Don't shoot the bumper. Well, Max. Shoot How the about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Cool. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero. Now it's your turn to bust a cap. Uh oh. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! Oh fuck you! She gone down. Is that my blood? Did she draw an anarchy symbol with my blood from my nose? You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. Okay. Okay. Looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. 
Uh -oh. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get uh, your money. The guy that we don't they all say that? To. You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Okay. So a knife has come Please. to play, and I Please hold the gun. Please step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Man, I will shoot you in the fucking leg. That is hilarious. Oh, man. What? I'll remember you, kid. I'll remember you almost shot me. And you'll wish I had no memory, because I never forget. You have until Friday to pay me. Don't ever pull crap like this again. It'll be the last time you do. Okay. Try bullets next time, brainiacs. Sorry. You are awesome. Thanks for standing up for me. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. Sure. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. How are we gonna get $3,000? Jesus, I almost shot this guy. And now he'll be more dangerous to Chloe and me. Nah. Hey, where am I going? Where do I go? Do I go wow, here? sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe Where the now. Where did she go? Where the fuck is she? Come back here, bitch. We ain't done talking. Hmm. Where did she go? Oh, poor thing. They left you here all alone. Yeah, you ain't gonna pick it up and keep it, are ya? Oh. No, car wreck. Oh, there she is. I found her. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a time out from here. Okay, so we're gonna walk down the railroad tracks, I assume. It's I still dangerous. can't believe you pulled a gun on Frank. That was epic. It felt awful. I'm glad there was no bullets in there. You can just rewind time in your hand and stick that barrel right up Frank's ass. You have the power. You're gross. Don't fall. I'm just glad you were here. Me too. I think. Chloe, why the hell are you hanging around scary losers like Frank? It's weird. Let's take a break and I'll talk. Yes, in the middle of the railroad tracks. That is a fantastic Feels idea. like a different world, huh? I wish we could stay forever. That's probably the dumbest Can idea. Can we build another pirate right fort and keep the world out? We need a new secret hangout. At least Frank wouldn't find us. Are you okay, Max? Seriously, Chloe, this is scary. What if Frank tries to track us down? I'm sorry, but Frank isn't as hardcore as he fronts. All he cares about is his cash, stash, and mangy dog. Chloe, did you see what just happened? I almost shot him. I know I could rewind, but Chloe, this is not playtime. No more guns. Max, I know. 
crazy shit is the new normal for me. That's why I plan to leave Arcadia Bay without paying Frank off. Now, tell me exactly what's going on between you and Frank. Does he have a last name? Frank Bowers, he's just a dealer, where I get my weed. The one in your joint, remember? Anyway, Frank and I kind of hung out. Hung out? Hung out? You don't mean you... Ah, oh, no, we didn't have sex. Gross, man. <laughs> he never even tried. I just made the mistake of borrowing money so Rachel and I could bail out of here. That's it? No. I want to know how Frank got Rachel's bracelet. What do you think? My brain is fried. I don't know anymore. My brain is so fried from all this. I need a mental enema. Ah, it's so weird talking to you about this insane crap. We haven't hung out this much since we were tweens, and it's like no time has passed. I wish Rachel was here to meet you. Do you think that Rachel and I would have been friends? You're not that different. She had... has a great eye for images and for art. Plus, she's a smartass like you. We would all be hella best friends forever. I know she must be as cool as you are. I have no doubt we'll meet soon. Railroad tracks always make me feel better. I have no idea why. Kerouac uh. knew. It's the romance of travel and movement. The sound of the train whistle at Look night. Look at the beat poet here. Please. I'd rather be a good photographer. Get hit by a train. You are. You just have to stop being afraid. I knew that was a bad idea. What's that noise? A train. Oh shit. All right. <laughs> Speak. Find something. Creamy. Uh, fuck, 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 fuck. There's gotta be something in here. I'd Come rather on, have man. life of. Okay, Hi. that's not gonna help me. Shit, I can't Why? budget at all. Please get me out of here. A wedge. This wedge locks the drum in place. Uh, push. Damn, something is blocking the drum. The oh. wedge, maybe. <sighs> oh, hey, Wait, let's. Coming? Not move the wedge. Max, get me out of here! Crowbar. Got it. I can definitely use this bag. Oh shit! No! So close! So close! But I, I have the crowbar now, so I can better save her life. And see how much time I have now. I could diddy dally. I could have tea. Now I can finally move the drum. Get me out of here, Max! <coughs> I have to help lift Chloe up. Oh shit! That was like just in time. You saved me again. Crazy. You were totally gone with your life. You okay? I got splinters in my ass and leg, so I wish there was a less violent way for you to save me. And now the trains can't get to the lumber mill. Oops. Oops. Aren't you glad I took you away to a nice, quiet, desolate spot? It was cool to spend time in your lair, but 
I have to get back to school before my next class. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Oh. Struck me right in the feet. Thanks for the ride, Chloe. Right on time for my art lesson. Thanks for coming with me. Sorry to be so boring. Nothing exciting ever happens to us, right? Listen, your rewind power has to be connected to that snow yesterday. That might explain your tornado vision. Explain what? Snow equals a ginormous twister that takes out Arcadia Bay? You're high. She probably Wake is. up, Max. You saved my life twice now. You altered the course of my destiny, yours, and whoever. Do you know about chaos theory? What do you know about chaos theory, Miss I Hate Math? Five years ago, asswipe. Some people change. And your situation is the perfect storm for quantum physics. Why me? Mm. I'm just a geek girl in some small town. A perfect example of strange attractors? Don't they teach you kids anything at Blackwell? We have a tornado, rewind power, and freak snow. Hello, Armageddon. So let's party with your power, Rockstar. Like he said, Professor Price, a superhero needs a sidekick. How wow. can it be such a shitty week and yet one of the best of my life? Because we're back in action again. Oh, they even have like a special handshake. Enter the Vortex Club this October. What actually is the fucking Vortex Club? I have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. Okay, pause break. By the way, I uh, took a break, went to the store, came back, ate, ate a nice lunch, had a shower, and completely forgot that I had a Let's Play to do. I thought, hey, I should do a Let's Play, and I was like, wait, I'm in the middle of a fucking Let's Play. Alright, let's talk to Samuel. Hi, Samuel! Seriously. Hello, climate change. Okay, I can't talk to Samuel. Okay. Stop being a loser. Does anybody believe this shit? This is where shit gets real. Don't miss it. This Thursday, 10th of October, Vortex Club End of the World Party. Wow. That is, uh... That's some intense shit right there, considering the fact that we know that the end of the world is coming. And that girl is still missing. Desperate much? <clears throat> the We're world already is yours here. today. Blackwell Academy is not just a hybrid college. Our unique world-renowned faculty wants to share so you can care. See a counselor today. Oh, yay. Hi, Zach. Hello, Zach. Sup, Max? It's weird to not see you without your camera. I'm always taking pictures with my eyes. I bet. As long as you don't talk to everybody about all that shit with the sext in Victoria. I won't. That's what Victoria wanted. Yeah. I noticed she kind of set up her own drama. Even if it fucks her over. Weird. She doesn't have to, though. That's what I don't get at all. When she's hot, rich, talented. What more does she need? Anyway. See you at the game Friday, Max. Bye! Bully free, it starts with me. Oh, bully free me, it starts with me. Got it, got it. I was like, no, that can't say me, me. Alright. What up, Officer Prick? 
Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? No. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. You best not bother chatting me up now. Okay, I'm gonna rewind here and go back to that moment when I asked, speak. Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a No, I was holding it for a friend. No, it belonged to a friend of mine. Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Can it... You're a combat veteran. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. You treat Kate bad. Let's but you treat Kate happens. pretty bad. You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Oh, it's going to be the exact Max, same dialogue. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you. Okay. Trevor surveys his domain. Oh, his domain. Oh. Hi. Hi, Courtney. I'm I'm like Max. Hey, and, Courtney. And you look like Ciao, a Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. Well, you're right. I don't. You're right. I don't. Making my guest list easier. Ciao. Wow. Tight enough pants? Holy crap. See, now, about this security guard, he doesn't seem that bad. Sit down, science, bruh. No. Okay, so, this guy has this thing about Schrodinger, okay? Like, his t-shirt had a box that was saying, Meow. Schrodinger's cat, maybe? Okay, um... Max, sorry to have bothered you by asking for your advice. I guess I shouldn't do anything but let people enjoy my video all over the world. Kate, that is not what I meant. I just want you to be careful. Too late, I guess. But thank you for answering my call this morning. I really needed a friend and you delivered. I'm on your side. X-O-T-T-Y-L. Oh. Okay. Chloe! <clears throat> uh, running late. Grab a booth at the diner. Mom will feed you. Somebody better. I'll be lucky if you make it by noon. Okay. Okay. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Okay, where's the lab? Is that reminds lab? me. Science class. I have to score some weed from Nathan. 
Miss Grant. There he is. Chemistry stuff. Bring me the brain, Igor. <laughs> All right. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. Potassium or sodium? What's he making? Fuck it. Toss in some salt. I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. Sodium it is. I'm coming over here. I don't trust my own fucking science. Should you really be... Damn. Oh. Zip. Nothing. Nada. Alright. Then potassium it is then. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Think, big brain. Think. Hey, Warren. Okay. Maxwell's asking me. Half daddy. Potassium. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go. Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug. She almost looked not impressed by that. Weird science. Hmm. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. All right. This can't be that hard. Bring me the brain, Igor. All right. So that's it then. Hi, Brooke. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds. I need to know if you can help me with a potassium experiment. No can do, Max. I'm all about robotics, not chemistry. Give me a drone over a beaker. I'm helping Warren with his latest experiment. Oh, I guess he needed a neophyte assistant so he wouldn't be threatened. But you came to his rescue anyway. Apparently it's my nature. Yet Warren ignores the experts right in front of him. Not that he would ask me for help, anyway. How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. So... He's got a GPS on me or something? Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Hi, Miss Grant. Funny, I was just thinking about you, Max. That's creepy. It's too bad you didn't sign the petition. Every signature counts, and yours might be the one that decided. Miss Grant, can I ask you a possibly dumb science question? You know my stock teacher answer. There are no dumb questions. Ask away. Would you add potassium or sodium to a chemical mix for this week's experiment? Neither. Unless you want a face full of powder. I would add chlorine. Chlorine. Bye bye I'm sorry, Miss Grant, but I have to get going. Go on, Max. We'll talk again. Real soon. Okay. Yes, I am a scientist. Fuck. Little farther. There. Oh. There. Hey, hey what's happening, sexy stud? Okay. You look fuck. Maxwell. Asking. Half daddy. Chlorine. Lots of potassium. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. Let's see what happens. 
Oh! She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? <laughs> oh, well, that was, that, that was fun. Okay. Hey, Warren. Heck. Asking. Have that. Chlorine. Wrong, Warren. You need to add chlorine. Not potassium or sodium. Chlorine? I didn't think of that. Can't argue with a confident scientist. Let's try it. Eureka! She's got it. No, you got it. Don't be so modest, Dr. Caulfield. Yay! That was fun helping Warren. He's pretty cute when he's in full-on geek mode. Okay, so now I had to go to class? Objective, I should attend art class, okay. So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. Why? You don't understand mine. Nobody does. Nobody. Can I talk to you? Please, leave me alone. No, you're my friend. I'm, I'm here to help. Fine. Isn't... Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. Isn't... Zachary, that other guy that I was talking to? Oh, okay. Let's talk to Mr. Jefferson, see what the fuck's Excuse up. me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. Yeah. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes. Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It fucking happened. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girl's bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Alright, so none of the faculty believe me that, that uh -huh. um, what's his name, Nathan Fuckface had a gun. Sure. And why, why, why does everybody refuse to believe Listen, that to to Kate to could have been set up? Mm hmm. Okay, I'll do that. I know. That makes sense. Fuck you on a bit. Mm -mm. Are you buying pots, sir? Seriously, I have to hang up. Now. Let's talk about this later. Oop. That's my cue. Hi, Stella! You make me beautiful, Hayden. Bo. Bo. 
bow. Dana, you are out of control. Turn left. Then... Show me the love. Do you think Max will How be pissed for saying that? No time to talk, like Max. Oh, I'm sure Closing she'll report progress. us to the principal. Like I give a flying fuck. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives a shit. Like anybody does. Max is such a little... Shh, I think she can hear us. Well, yeah, because I'm fucking standing right in front of you, you fucking idiot. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. And paparazzi. I want that photo whore or I get nasty. Too late. Oh, burn. Max is so fearless when she has backup. Right. Can I sit at my table now? Don't get cocky. This isn't over. Oh. In fact, shit's just starting, Max. Oh, great. Money Assholes. bags. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. That is weird. That is like hella fucking weird. How the fuck did you see that? Like I can't even see that. So what? Hey, it's me, what up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit Maybe down. Maybe I'll see we have you later. To cover today. Bye. So little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. No smartphones in class, Max. Put that away. Got it. <laughs> Usually, people need something to judge, so they never take a good hmm. look at themselves. We can thank reality TV. It's cool that Mr. Jefferson published his own little book of photo tips. TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Oh, fuck like off. Max Caulfield, for example. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrasts. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Girl's dorm? Dismissed. The fuck's going on in the girl's dorm? Oh fuck, yo! No. Oh god. I, I have to do something to help her. Not again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't be able to rewind again and again. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can fucking do it. Whoa. Did you pause time? Freeze frame. Keep going, Max. You can do it. Yeah, you can. Actually, really pisses me off. This girl 
is literally about to commit suicide because her life sucks. She is bullied beyond belief. And everybody just stands around to watch and say that the bitch flipped out. That actually really bothers me. Like, and I, and now, throughout this entire thing, I will not ever use the word triggering. Yes. Because I fucking hate that word. But this, it, it, it hits me right in my soft spot. Come on, say something. Oh. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, do don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. You matter, not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours. And we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. That's your story now. How can I trust you? What about this morning when I needed help? You told me to do nothing. Gathering Kate, proof. Kate, I'm gathering proof that Nathan Prescott drugged you. And you're not the only victim. So you have to help me take Nathan down. Nathan Prescott? That makes sense. He's a scumbag. You have proof now? Soon, then straight to the police. Think of it like we're cleansing Blackwell. You do have my back, Max. That's the first time I've felt hopeful in a week. Good. We all need to have each other's backs. So, I want you to come with me now. Please. You don't have to do this. Come on, come on, come on. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm already on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. Kate, there are billions of videos out there. Yours will fade away like white noise. Oh God, please, Max. You haven't seen the looks I get. Or the laugh. I understand, truly. I get bullied too. But this is a blip. Yep, my life is a blip. Blackwell taught me I'm worthless. I'll prove it right now. No, Kate, no, please. You can't do this to all the people who care about you. No, nobody cares about me. Nobody. Okay, you wear that cross around your neck. You are a God fearing woman, and it is a sin to take your own life. Um, your mother, your father, your sisters, your brothers, who should I pick? Uh, your father. Kate, this will crush your father. You think he cares about a video? He loves you unconditionally. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me. See, you're not alone. And nobody down there wants to see you up here. This isn't the end, Kate. There's no way God doesn't have big plans for you here. Nice try, Max. But God put me on this roof. No, no. You put you on this roof. And, oh, fuck, what was it? Proverbs 21, 15 or 11, 28? 
Ah! Um. Oh god, I'm literally gonna gamble here with someone's life. Eeny meeny miny mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny meeny miny mo. How does God, please! Go? When justice is done, it brings joy to the righteous, but terror to the evildoers. I don't believe in justice, Max. I don't believe in anything anymore. Don't do it. Don't do it. No! 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 no. Fuck! Oh no! Oh, I fucked up, and I can't redo it. Fuck me. Oh, God. Oh, that is horrible. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us, but we have to go over what happened before Miss Marsh... before she did what she did. Officer Barry will be taking notes for the official police inquiry. I'm sure you'll give him your full cooperation. Such a tragedy. But there must be a reason for everything. We need to find out why Kate Marsh would be driven to such desperate action. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duty seriously. No, you fucking I don't. take the well-being of every student like more seriously. Fuck. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. All right, this is going to be tough. Uh, Nathan Doster, Jefferson made her cry, David bullied her. Um, okay, well... Fuck it. Fuck you, Nathan. You gun-wielding drug... All I know is that Kate idiot. was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. the field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? that's total slander. I could sue you and this school so fast. Nope, not slander. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. Yeah. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Well, Sucker! See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and fellow student is dead. And they don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. No, I'm signing that statement. Nathan's a prick. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. So thank you for coming in. I think so far, justice has been... Well, it hasn't been served, because, well... I just can't believe it. 
It's like it wasn't even real. Watching her drop like a weight. I really thought I could save her. <sighs> like a superhero. Come on, Max. Do not for a second blame yourself. Kate was on that roof for her reasons, not yours. My hand just reached out. Stop it. You were the only one with balls enough to run to the roof. You were the only one who cared. Yeah, I sure made a big fucking difference. Maybe if more people cared, better people than me. You're the best person around. Warren, I screwed up today. That makes no logical sense. Warren, I don't mean to sound weird, but there's something ominous going on at Blackwell. I today agree. proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? Is it snowing again? The is weather confirms this clip? weird day. I feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. those with like memorial binder things episode two out of time all right wow that was uh that was different that was sad it was very sad that was a very sad ending wow 
Now that one kind of actually really makes you think. And and the and the thing is, is we think this this is just a game that 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 we play, but it's more than a game, like because this kind of thing really happens. Minusing minusing the weird superpowers that Max seems to have, the the ability to rewind time. But all of the bullying and and the, the, the slander, the the I almost wanted to say political cover ups, but like money can buy things and it's it's the popular and the rich that pick on other people. But yet some people's home lives, they when when I was a kid, I was bullied. Uh, quite a bit uh, until I was in high school but I was even bullied by teachers but one kid in particular he had a really he had a really crappy life at his home and and picking on me and my friends was his outlet to be able to manage his home life so he had actually he he, he hit me and like he hit me real bad like I came home with a black eye and uh, so I guess my mom called teachers, and the teachers called his dad, and he got suspended, and I guess he, he came back to school that next week, and he actually had marks all over his arms because his dad beat him. Because he hit me. And so I, I, I didn't understand it at the time that, that, that that's not what is supposed to happen. Like, I, I thought it was just desserts, you know? He's always beating me up, so why shouldn't somebody beat him up? But th that's his dad. So, th this whole bullying in this game, I, I, I feel bad. Like, I understand what these characters are going through, being bullied the way they are. And sadly, bullying isn't something that we can change just like that. It's something that everybody needs to come together and put a stop to it. Like, even in this 21st century, we have all kinds of, like, anti-bullying ads all over the place. Commercials, internet ads, flyers in schools, and even, even other public places, like City Hall. There's no bullying in City Hall, but there's even things like workplace bullying. And it's just, it, it's something that go, that, that, that is a part of life, but doesn't need to be a part of life. All you need is a majority of people to stand up against bullying instead of standing behind bullying. Anyways, so I apologize for that little rant. Um, I hope you all did enjoy this video. I know I enjoyed playing this episode. I It, it was uh, definitely not what I expected. So thanks again for watching, and if you have any suggestions on any other games that you would like to see me let's play, please leave a link in the description below or comment in the comment section below. I leave links in descriptions. <laughs> and uh, once again, thanks again for watching this video and I will see you next time.